Well, prior to yesterday, we only had one calendar day in Grand Rapids that we received an inch of snow or more. As it was actually right around an inch of snow. And going forward, I think we're going to essentially see probably a week straight with at least more than an inch of snow on each and every day. It's really going to be quite a week ahead of us. Right now, yet again, we have some snow out there. Most of it's fairly light, kind of coming in bands, as you can see on Storm Track Live Radar, as it kind of moves to the north and east. Right now, from Muskegon, Grand Rapids, over towards, uh, I'd say, the Lansing area, uh, Eaton Rapids, a little bit of a break. You can see the light snow kind of pivoting north. So it's going to be soon before this area, which is right around the Byron Center area, moves into the Grand Rapids location, just nudging in the Granville right now. And uh, overall, most of it, again, is light at times, of pockets of uh, moderate snow here and there. We'll drop to the south, and you can see the Prairieville area up towards Hastings, Whalen location, Martin. So if you're traveling south on US 131, you're going to run into a little bit heavier snow. Here's a live view, Kalamazoo. Kind of shows you uh, that snow that is heading up towards towards Grand Rapids at the present time. Still decent visibility, but it's enough to put that coating of snow on the roads and yet again, make it a little bit challenging this morning. Right now, 30 degree temperature out there in Grand Rapids, 32 in Kalamazoo, and we'll have highs once again peak right around the mid 30s. Windshield temperatures for the most part in the 20s. The wind's much lighter today, but boy, that's gonna change tomorrow. And this is the reason why a storm system developing and that is gonna press up or push snow into the area from south to north it looks like uh, quite early actually tomorrow morning. The one thing I've noticed with this uh, forecast that this the precip, the onset of the precip keeps getting a little bit earlier and earlier. So it looks like at least by mid morning, we're gonna see snow develop and maybe even a little bit before that. And most of it's gonna start out as snow. Now here's the change, at least I've noticed this, in this latest models is that there's been a little bit of a shift of the area of low pressure further to the west. And that means a better chance of a little bit of a mix getting in, especially south of Grand Rapids. This is the six o'clock time frame. You can see that mix south of Grand Rapids. And it looks like it may lift into the Grand Rapids area briefly during the evening hours for tomorrow. Now this area of low pressure just yesterday was forecast to be further east over here towards Flint. It makes a difference with these storm systems. And so therefore it may cut down snow amounts a bit. I haven't changed the snow forecast as of yet. I wanna see one more forecast model run to see if that shift is really going to happen. Uh, overall, we may have to shift this area 14 inches up here and kind of bring everything over that way. But right now, regardless, uh, right now the forecast, I would say is four to eight inches of snow tomorrow by sunset and another four to eight inches of snow in general, Friday night right on through Saturday. Then you have to add this component to it, 20 to 40 mile an hour winds. And the snow is gonna be a drier snow towards the tail end of the vent, so it's gonna be very easy to blow around. Falling temperatures on Saturday, goodbye to the 30s, which we've been stuck in for quite some time. Here comes the teens and Arctic air heading our way quite a week ahead of us. Tom, a little dicey out there this morning, that light snow. Yeah, we got that light coating of snow and that is just enough to make roads out there slippery. So again, another morning where it's not a bad idea to give yourself a couple of extra minutes uh, as you head out the door. Uh, right now we are working with a crash in Walker along the westbound lanes of I-96 just before you get to Walker Avenue. And we are picking up a little bit of a slowdown in the area as a result. Uh, again, ju it's just a light dusting of snow but especially those neighborhood roads, those are going to be very uh, slippery. Uh, the main roads for my drive-in were mostly okay. At least one lane uh, was pretty clear, but again, uh, pretty slippery still. Right now, you can see slow spots across the map here, uh, indicating, again, drivers not able to go along at those posted speed limits. I'll have another update for you in about 15 minutes. Donovan?